Hello everybody, Brenda here. Um, again, <clears throat> I have got a uh, challenge to do with my May Make It Kit Make a Journal Challenge for 2021. Uh, this I have here is a template of what I'm going to make. And this was made from a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. And on the front, we have decor. We have our journal card here. This flips open. This flips open. We have um, two little pockets here with some tags. And this flips down. And we have a little, uh, a little sack here with another tag. Now, the name of this challenge is a journal card with fancy fold and flip. So this is my template, and this is um, what I'm going to make today for my challenge. So I'm going to put this aside. Um, this paper that I got here, this is from uh, my Stamperia. Stamperia. Um, pad that is part of the challenge that I'm doing. Okay, and this is the um, this is the journal that I'm making for the challenge. And the kit that I'm using is uh, Yaya Spring Days journal kit and I got this kit from Dear Julie Julie. So that is the kit that I'm using. This is the journal that I'm making, and this is the challenge for today. Hope you all are having a wonderful Wednesday. I can't believe it's Wednesday already. The time is just flying. I guess the older you get, the more it flies. So anyway, okay, so I've got a 12 by 12 sheet of paper from my Stamperia pad. Okay, what you want to do is figure out what you want on the front, which is, I picked this side, and this is the back, so you want to fold it in half, okay? Fold it in half, get your bone folder, and uh, burnish. Then, what you want to do is fold it. Um, you want to fold it in thirds, but what I did to help me out is I put it on this and put it up here, and then I scored it at four and eight. So you have a 12 sheet, 12 inch sheet of paper, and I scored at four and eight. So that made it easier to fold in thirds for me. So get your scoring board and score it at four and eight. That way um, it will fold easier for you. So I fold it in thirds. And then what you wanna do is after that, you open it up, make sure that this is at the bottom, your fold should be at the bottom, okay? We're going to take our scissors and we are going to cut just a little bit off the side of this first line here. Right up to this fold, right up to the middle fold there. And then you're gonna go on the other side of that line, if I can get a hold of it, and cut. A little bit off on the, about an eighth of an inch probably on the other side. So it's gonna give us a little gap to work with here. Okay. And just trim that right off. And then we wanna do the same thing on this side. We want to go a little to the right of the line and cut. Right up to the fold. And then come over about an eighth of an inch and do the same thing to get rid of that fold there all together. 
Okay, so what we have now is the middle is going to be our flip and the two ends are going to be our pockets. So what you want to do now is this is the front. So I want to put a notch in the front before I glue it down. So about in the middle and I'm just eyeballing it. Put a little notch. And then on this end here, on the further end, we're gonna do the same thing. Before we glue it down, we wanna put a little notch. Now, before I do that, okay, you can, for this one here, what I did was, on the uh, back pocket, I, um, I glued from here up to here to here and then I glued right across the middle and that made two pockets here. So you can do that if you want. This time I was going to just do it, um, just do, do it the same as the front. So I'm going to put just one notch here, right in the middle. Okay. So we have our notches, this is our middle. So right here, we are going to, I'm using art glitter glue. I am going to put a line of glue from this bottom down here to the side and over here to this side. And this is going to be glued right down and I need to get something to wipe up the excess glue because since I <clears throat> haven't fixed the top of my glue bottle yet so a lot of glue comes out at a time so I'm just going to wipe this down here get this all off and maybe by the time I do another video I will have it fixed Okay, so we have our, I'm gonna let that dry, but we have our little pocket here. So I'm gonna let that dry. And then I'm gonna come over to the back side and do the same thing. I'm going to glue across the top, down, and over. Three spots. Put this up and burnish down. Okay, so now we have our pocket in the back. We have our flip and on this little, uh, on the bottom of my flip here, I am just going to make a little I don't know if it makes much difference, but I'm just making a little decor on the corners just to give it some little bit of decoration, but you probably can't even hardly see that anyway. So, okay. So, okay, so we have this much done. We have our pocket and we have our front pocket. Now, um, whatever you decide to put on your front as a decoration, I have decided to, what did I decide to put on the front? Okay, I've got this from um, my Stamperia pack and I was gonna glue that right on the front. So I will go ahead and do that now. That side's kind of pretty too. Now, you have a choice. You can glue it all the way down, which I am going to do, or you can leave the top or the side open for another pocket. That is totally up to you. But I am going to lay this right down, right about here. Okay. 
I don't want any of that glue to stick down stick my pocket down so I'm just going to take my hole punch and just make a little hole there didn't go down far enough so I'm gonna try it one more time go a little further down okay was good then take my inker and ink right alongside there and there's my front cover now for this um, I'm going to put a journal card in there that's part of my um, that's part of my challenge so I'm going to put that in there and I think I will round the corners on this card to make it easier so I'm going to use my corner punch round all my corners Hopefully that will make it slide in and out a little easier. Much easier, okay? So that's gonna go in there. And on this one, I am gonna put a little whale tailed tab. Make it easier to pull out. Okay. My son is working late tonight, so we still have our little granddaughter here. So, let's see, I wanna put that right about in the middle, sorry, probably off screen. So I'm putting this uh, tag right in the middle here, and that is going to go right in here. Just like that. Okay, so there is our front. And let's see, on the inside, actually, I guess we can do this. Uh, this is dry, so I can do this one. Now, this one here, this is another journaling card that I'm going to use. You can write on the back, but I'm not going to put um, a tab sticking out like that because I want it to, I am going to round the corners, though. So, around the corners with my chomper. Oops. Okay. And this is going to go right in here. Makes such a difference. And I'm not going to put anything on that because I want this to close so we can't have any tab on this side here but we can because it has a thumb hole it's easy to um, pull out anyway and this is whoa cut crime kind of crooked so I'm gonna try to straighten that out just a little bit when I see that Sorry, concentrating. <laughs> concentrating. There we go. Okay, so that's going to, this is my flap. And on the inside of my flap, I decided to put another little um, bag for a pocket. So I'm going to put this down. And I will put this down as if you decide to tuck something behind it. Um, you can tuck something behind it. So I'm putting it down like that. And I'm gonna go a little bit down towards the bottom. So if you do decide to, you'll be able to put um, something behind it there. Okay, so I have this little lady here 
from my um, from my digital kit that I'll be uh, that I'm using. But first, I thought I would put something behind her, so I'm going to ink up this little piece of paper, brown paper bag here. And I thought I would put that down, and maybe a little music. I don't know about the music, but I'll th I thought I'd try it and see what it may look like. <clears throat> okay, so I know I want this down, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue the brown paper down. Okay. That's going down about right there. And then I want to put her down, but do I want music also? Mm, it doesn't look too bad, I guess. A little bit of music, I guess. I don't know about you all, but this is my um, most difficult part of crafting is uh, putting things down under the main focus, I always have more trouble doing this with my, um, you know, layering and stuff like that. That is my biggest difficult time is layering and um, decorating like the front of a journal or something like that. It takes me forever to figure out what I want to do and how I want to layer and wondering if it's gonna look okay. Like, I really like that. Um, I think probably, hmm, I think I'll probably need a little label or something up here. But I like, I like the way that looks. What do you think? Maybe it needs a little label. <clears throat> One of these, I think these came from Shabby Dabby Doo. What color do I want? I think that, no, that's the wrong color. How about yellow with red lettering? Like that. So let me cut out one of these. Number five looks good. I am so shaky tonight. I don't know what the problem is. I only had one cup of coffee this morning, but I am so shaky. Okay, put these away. I want to ink this a little around the edges and then I think I'm gonna put it right about there got to get the top of this fixed oh my goodness it's just horrible without the little top on okay So, got something that can go in there. And this will be under the flip. Now, you can also, I don't think I will because I'm trying to keep this as flat as can be, but you could put you could put pockets here. You could put um, maybe something decorated here. Um, but like I said, I think I want to keep this as flat as can be to go in my um, journal because I'm not sure what else I have to do to um, to uh, put in the book. But we can, I guess we could make a little tag to go in there or I think, I don't know that, that might fit okay. 
Okay, so I'll just put that in there. So, like I said, you could uh, make further pockets. You could decorate inside more. And I may do that. And I may um, do something else to the front. But for now, this is what we have. We have our pocket here. This is the front. This opens up. We have our pocket here. You could have double pockets if you wanted. This is our flap. Underneath we have something there. And this is called my journal card with fancy fold, which is, you know, three-way fold, and my flap. So, that is my challenge. I like how it turned out. I may decide to decorate it more. I have to see what else, you know, goes in as far as all the decorations and stuff for my challenge. So, other than that, I think that's it. So, I hope you guys um, enjoyed this little uh, video. Hope you make one. If you're not um, doing a journal, just make one and put it in your stash or make three or four and put it in your stash. It's always good to have backup for when you uh, do make your journals. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. I hope you, you are staying safe, having a good middle of the week. And I hope to see you again real soon. You guys take care. Bye-bye.